Hey guys, another video for our crime and emergency services in Japan playlist. Out in the rice fields again. Sort of a quiet corner this one. Not much happening over here today. So, as most of you guys know, Japan has some of the lowest crime rates in the world when you compare different countries and their levels of crime of all descriptions. Japan is usually down the bottom because it has some of the lowest crime rates in the world. And over the last seven years, they've actually seen a further decrease in crime compared to previously. So it's been looking pretty good. So we were a bit baffled. We kept seeing four-wheel drive vehicles, big four-wheel drive vehicles, with steering locks on them. Or there's a couple that we saw that had big, heavy-duty chains that they were using to chain the, the four-wheel drive to a a big ring in their driveway, right? Really serious, big heavy chain and big serious heavy padlock. And and we couldn't work it out. It was like, there's another four wheel drive that's all secured up, you know? What's going on with this? And particularly out here, you know, we, we just couldn't work it out. And because it's pretty rare, you don't normally see that sort of thing, physical security on vehicles in Japan. You don't normally see that. So it was sort of baffling us. And, and then what further baffled us is like, why would anyone want to steal one of those big heavy things and try and drive it around these little streets. It just didn't add up. It just didn't make any sense. Uh, it, as you guys know, even the farmers out here don't usually use four wheel drives. They've got little K trucks. So they wouldn't want a four wheel drive either. So usually the ones that you see out here aren't used for any sort of heavy duty work. They're just used to take the kids to school and pick up groceries from the supermarket, you know? So it just didn't add up to us. So. Finally saw another one of those vehicles with the big heavy chain. I went, right, I've got to know what's going on with this. So I had a look at the uh, National Police Crime Statistics, Japanese Police Crime Statistics, NP something, National police, police Agency Statistics or something it's called. Amazingly, amazingly, this is what we found out, was that the, the Lexus LX, uh, in, and this is Aichi Ken, we're in here, Aichi Prefecture, right? One in five of the Lexus LXs in, H, in Aichi has been reported stolen. One in five. So if you own one of those vehicles in, in, in Aichi, um, you have a one in five chance of having it stolen, right? Which is amazing. So what they've been doing apparently is they've been stealing uh, Lexus four-wheel drives and Toyota Land Cruisers, which you guys know Toyota makes Lexus as well, so they're similar. So they've been stealing the Lexuses, they've been stealing the uh, Land Cruisers, um, and then further down the line, they also steal the um, Prius, right? Um, and what they're doing is they're using electronic uh, systems. So one of the ones that they that we, we heard about years ago, uh, they, they clone the button so they, they wait near your house and when you push your button go blink to push your button to unlock your car or to start your car or whatever you're doing they they copy that signal and then they can use it later to steal your car um, so then the police are recommending that keep people keep their keys their uh, electronic keys in in metal boxes to stop that happening right but they also have developed a more advanced system than that that hacks into the computer of the car electronically uh, using radio waves again, hacks into the computer of the car. So the stories that I read were were that they were just they were just walking up to cars in car parks and using their little gizmo to open the doors, get in, start the car, drive away. That simple. Uh, and then what they're doing apparently is stripping the cars down into pieces, putting them in shipping containers, and shipping them to other countries. And then when they get to other countries, they reassemble them and 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 off they go. So isn't that amazing? So in in 2020, there are 119 of these Lexuses stolen, right? 119 of them. And so far in May 2022, uh, up till May 2022, so in five months, 66 of them were stolen. Isn't that incredible? So all of a sudden it makes sense. I mean, we're just baffled by it. It's like, why would anyone want to steal one of those things? And it turns out they really do. <laughs> they really do want to steal one of those things. So amazing, isn't it? And and in Aichi, it was something like, it was something like there was 680 of them in Aichi, and 130 of them had been stolen, or 
or something. Isn't that amazing? So I was sort of searching them out, and when they found them, they just jumped in them and drove them away. So one in five, isn't that an amazing statistic? If you own, apparently they're worth about $90,000 each. So if you owned one of those $90,000 cars, you had a one in five chance of having it stolen. So no wonder they were chaining them up, putting big steering locks on them and physical security to try and slow the, the bad guys down or deter them from even trying, most likely. So isn't that amazing? So, so again, statistically, um, you know, compared to the rest of the world, obviously the, the, the crime rates here are still incredibly low, but, but that's an incredible one, isn't it? Um, we also searched further and found that there, there have been people arrested for this. They have caught a number of people for this and, and arrested them for it. Um, but obviously it's big groups of dudes that are doing it. So if one or two guys get caught doing it, that's not going to stop it, obviously, because it's obviously a big money, a big money profession actually funny thing was that the people that were that were fat that were caught by the cops because you know they always say in japan when they when they're talking about someone they always mention their age and their profession and so they'd say this guy who's 19 and self-employed <laughs> which is sort of what criminals are really aren't they they're sort of self-employed one way or another aren't they <laughs> self-employed and they mentioned some other guy that was 50 years old who's also self-employed no doubt no doubt so isn't that amazing so yeah one in five so there it is there it is if you own a lexus or a land cruiser or even a prius uh we didn't bother to look up the the numbers for the prius but that's number three out of out of the most popular cars the lexus lx is the most popular and then the toyota land cruiser and then next is the prius prius would be easy wouldn't it little priuses because you could you could sell that those parts around the world couldn't show prius parts so not surprising really is it so anyway that was it if you own a if you own a, a lexus lx or a total land cruiser or a prius you'd better chain it up <laughs> that was a curious noise there's no people out here right did you hear that noise it was like a tin can getting kicked somewhere out there in the bamboo Anyway, there was that. More videos coming soon.